All right, well, we are here at the shop today. It is a Wednesday. I have a sale in about three hours. <laughs> Our Wednesday sale. But we are here today leading up to this Wednesday sale to prepare for our Sunday sale. Our Sunday whatnot sale. And I am super excited because we've got a lot of really fantastic things to pick from. Oh look, it's DoorDash. I bring you cold brew. Thank you, DoorDash. You're so sweet. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I was just talking about all the great things we have to select from for our Sunday sale. Oh my god. Oh, the stuff from New York. Yes. Oh my god, yeah, there's a ton of stuff. And Shelby has been in processing, so... I'm really excited about all that glass we got from that one vendor. I know, but those videos haven't dropped yet, so... Well, we could tease them a little bit. I, I've already been teasing. <laughs> I'm so excited about it, but I can't sell it yet. I can't sell it yet. So anyway, let's head in and um, start picking stuff. Hello? Because I, do, I can sell some of it, because you have seen some of those videos, so... All right, Andrew just flipped the lights on for us, and we're going to start over here with my table of goodies from New York. Um, I'm only selecting things that I know you guys have seen. So, let's see what we can grab. Oh, we're going to save him. We got to save him for the puppy dog sale with Logan, which I think we set a date for October 6th at 6 p.m. Eastern is going to be my time slot. And I don't know yet if we've decided on an hour long or a half hour long, but it will be on October 6th. So that's going to be the puppy dog sale. I'm going to, I'm going to start now gathering dogs because it takes me a while. I'm thinking this nascent horse. Oh, you know, I like to go all out for my, for my Sunday sales. It's pretty incredible. So maybe I'll throw that in there. Okay. Better wheel the whole cart over, I think. This, I only have $20 into, so it would make sense to sell this. I bet you this glows like crazy. I gotta go find my black light. Hmm. Maybe I'm just low on batteries? Doesn't look like it glows. I don't think that glows. That's crazy. I think it's definitely got some age to it, but it's not glowy glass. It doesn't glow. All right. I was wrong. I'm going to take it over and clean it, though, because it was on the table it was on. Look at that. It was like everything on that table was really pretty grungy so i'm gonna clean it it also has some hard water stains so to get out hard water stains when i have the time and the ability i use denture tablets i just uh, throw a denture tablet in there with some warm water and i just let it sit and since the sale isn't until sunday and today is wednesday it has time to just sit and work because i don't think i'll be able to get a brush down there so that's what we're gonna do all right, so I put some denture tablets in here. It actually looks really cool with the blue in there. <laughs> but we're just going to let it sit and ferment, literally. And uh, we're going to go grab some more stuff. So you can see I set up another table here at Mom and Shelby's suggestion. A new table for processing booth items. So this is stuff that's going to be going over to the booth. I did decide to part with the donkey and the baskets are right behind the table, so I just gotta rehook the baskets on there. Um, this, which unfortunately does have a damaged fin on the back side. So I'm gonna try to get my money back out of that. Bummer. Um, this, which a viewer actually um, gifted to us to sell for the um, Basset Hound Rescue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide on a price for this, I'm gonna donate the money to the Basset Hound Rescue, and then I'm gonna stick it in my booth for the same price. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for that. I just, I'm not brave enough to ship that. Especially since this connection right here has a tendency to break. And on something that large, 
I would be fearful of it breaking. Same with this. That's why that's going to the booth. Um, Hager, this face. Anyway, we're going back over here. Uh, let's see what else we can find. We have some more Murano here. I love this color combination. I think this is the second time I've bought this. Um, some, some Murano bowls you'll just see over and over again. That's why sometimes I leave them behind because it's like, I've seen this one before. It's mass produced, even though it's hand blown, you know, it's a one off. It's one that they produce over and over and over again. So, um, I've seen this one before I've bought it. I've sold it. I just love the coloring of it. So I'm going to actually stick this over on the cart. It's two items. We only need 40 to 50. So we're off to a great start. I was kind of debating this aisle of right paperweight, but I had a thought last night, or maybe it was this morning. I've, recently, I had this thought that I was going to have another paperweight sale based on the fact that I have a gajillion paperweights now, like a zillion, <laughs> so many paperweights, um, including these two totes that are full of paperweights. So I think I'm going to hold off. I might put a few paperweights um, in the sale, but I think I'm probably going to select them from these totes down here, which as I've shown you in the past, um, are primarily Gibson. I thought this one was really neat. This one was weird. I need to check this with a black light. Oh yeah. Wow. Check that out. That's nuts. <laughs> that is crazy. But it has like this sea urchin thing on the inside. There's no signatures on it, but there is remnants of a sticker. You might have to post that one to the paperweight group. They are super knowledgeable in that group. So there's a few in here that are mysteries. Um, this tote here has some of the better paperweights. Um, there's a lot of Murano in here that have the original stickers. Here's the Murano. Um, this one I thought was curious. This one down here has like a Venetian scene on it. I don't want to move them around too much. I think once I get the desk clear, I'll really take them out. Um, but I, like I said, there's a lot of Gibsons in here. They're not really as exciting. <laughs> They're cool, and there is a collector's market for them, but you guys know I'm a sucker for Murano. Look at this little guy. Little snail. Um, I know some of the creatures are more collectible than the others, just from looking at comps. Um, some go for s stupid money. I noticed that some of the Hagen Renekers, when they're in the glass, those ones can do really well. There was a pig. Um, a pig Hagen Renneker, just like I have on the back shelf, um, encased in glass, and that one did really well. But, you know what, let's do this guy. Little snail. And since I have so many Eckholts, I will sell another Eckholt. So one in the Wednesday sale this evening. And um, I'll put another one of these out. I'll put it up. There we go. All right. Next, we're going to head over to the window table. Pull a few pieces off of here. Um, let's see what we can find. You guys know I had my eye on these extremely delicate art class figurines for the Sunday sale. So delicate. Um, there are some deer sniffing mushrooms. And that looks like a heron possibly. They need to be cleaned, but I'm terrified to try to wash them <laughs> because they're so fragile. In fact, I kind of want to lay them down to transport them, but also I'm afraid to do that too. And Polly. This is a beautiful blue opaline. I'll sell one of these birdies. And then the mermaid. So this is a hobbyist mermaid. Um, somebody painted this themselves. It was a blank. You can see on the back here, it is marked um, Pearl. It is 
potentially the one who painted this in 1961. I mean, I think this is the mold company. It's very faint, difficult to make out, but it must be hung on the wall, potentially. I just love how Pearl gave her nice rosy cheeks. That one might glow. I'm going to have to test. Oh, I almost knocked over the heron. <laughs> just carry those to the back right now um this one is jim shore i'm gonna go test this with black light because i suspect maybe the leaves might glow nope no glow there all right this one i found at bedford i think i paid nine dollars for it and i suspect that it might be loats let's loats um, and it would have had a floral frog on top, and it no longer does. There is some chipping along the edge, potentially from that floral frog being uh, taken off and put back on uh, over the years. So it is a beautiful, like, pearlescence. Tired of looking at this fish. <laughs> it says hand-painted something. But I bought it because I thought it was very mid-century in style. I thought it was cool, so I bought it. Um, I'm going to stick this up here, and then I think I'm going to wheel this stuff into the back because I don't want to accidentally knock those over. Then we will come back out and start looking for more. All right, so next we're going to pick some items from this table. Um, I pulled all this white stuff out here. This was all stuff that was on my back shelf, um, and I cleaned it. Uh, because it was looking pretty rough. The white really does show dirt, believe it or not. So I scrubbed all this down, and it sat by the sink for a while. And uh, Shelby moves it over onto the table. I guess that's my sign that it's time to move it back and finally, <laughs> finally move it home. Um, so this is a silver crust dish. I have a... Um, for silver crest. I actually have a silver crest cake plate and all the dessert plates and usually on special occasions like Christmas or Thanksgiving or when we have a family over that's when we usually use that. I'm just wondering if I could somehow utilize this whenever we're having family gatherings or if I should just let it go. Hmm. Decisions. You know what? I'm going to hold on to this just for now. I'm not going to make that decision right now. We'll get rid of this because I know I have one of these already in my collection. Um, I use milk glass in my own decor. <laughs> so, got a little bit of that. Uh, this, I've sold one of these on Whatnot before and it brought exactly what it should have brought. It would have brought um, about 100 bucks. That's usually full retail. This is nice. We'll let this go. That was pretty filthy too. That cleaned up real nice. I believe this one's Romania. Yeah, Romania. Some nice etching and silver on that candy dish. I think I'm gonna let these go. And you know what I realized? <laughs> what I realized is these are um, D-R-E-D-Z-Y. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna spell it for you. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought that giant bird statue from Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. And I brought it home and I showed Andrew. And it's still in my living room. It's right next to my fireplace. That is the same artist. That wacky looking bird. That's why I love this so much. Because I have a piece in my own collection. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that's why I like it. Because I have a piece in my own collection. But I have the other two in the back. So I'm going to let these go. Because I don't need... I, I feel like the bird is big enough that it can stand alone. I don't need any more. There's a little stangle. I don't think I showed that video yet, though. This was one of those where I went to Goodwill and I just... I didn't... It wasn't long enough, so I never put it out. This was on the way to Havard Grace when I met Kate at um, Canning... Seneca Canning. That was a long time ago. That's how long I've been sitting on that one. I need to dig up that footage and put it out for you guys, even if it's just like an extra. I've done that before, just put out extra videos. And this 
This is a mystery. That's why this has hung out for so long. It's a really curious mark on the bottom, but maybe I'll try Google image searching this. That's been like my go-to research tool lately is Google image search. Let's stick it out there. There's some fused glass. Thinking this bright cherry bowl. Pedro Marcos. I wonder if that's a place or somebody's name. I was surprised that wasn't signed. Or maybe you just have to get it in the right light to see the signature. So Andrew picked these up whenever we were in New York. Um, he suggested that I sell them. Sunny Mead Farm, Bismarck, Missouri. I might sell the bottle. He said this was a really good bottle. I know nothing about bottles. And I don't think I've ever sold a bottle on whatnot, so we'll give it a shot. Uh, the bank, I actually filmed that, so I'll wait till the video drops. But um, I don't think I got this one on video, so it doesn't really matter when we sell it. So we'll stick it here, and uh, we'll sell it on the Sunday sale. This vanity set, I was going to hold off on, put it on, buy it now elsewhere. But it's just been sitting, and I'm tired of looking at it, so let's sell it on what? Uh, this is made in Taiwan, I think. I think one of the pieces had a sticker on it. Oh, made in Japan. Okay, it's made in Japan. Maybe it was the... I swear there is a... Oh, there it is. It's like, I know there's a mirror here somewhere. Here it is. I thought the mirror had a sticker. Oh, there it is. So the mirror is made in Hong Kong. I wonder if it's not matching. I don't think it was part of the set, but I'll sell it all together regardless. So this cobalt stuff was made in Japan. And then the mirror um, is made in, made in Hong Kong. See, I knew. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> but we'll sell it together. I've actually had this face hanging around for a while. I don't, I don't even remember where I bought it. But it has a marking on the bottom. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to figure that one out. <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm going to include this in the sale because at this point, I don't remember where I bought it. So obviously, I don't remember how much I have into it. So we'll sell it on Sunday. Let's stick it down here, I think. I don't want it to topple over on all my other stuff. All right, so I'm going to put fused glass over here and also the Murano that I found over at Bedford. So we'll put those on the cart. I think I'm going to bring these back. I know I have a few more items on the back shelves that I had actually set aside for the Sunday sale. So um, we'll go take a peek at those including the other figurines that go with this guy. Some more fused glass, and this piece, this is a conundrum. <laughs> the bottom is clear, and then the colors are applied. I don't know, I just get this feeling that this is something good. So maybe I'll hold off. You know what, I'll hold off on this one. I want to solve this mystery before I sell it. All right, I think I want to grab these longer burger baskets. <laughs> To keep them for myself but you know what they have just sat and sat and I think it's time to move them along so I'm just gonna stick them in the sale all right so I had forgotten that I made this little pile yesterday when I was here um, we have the Bill Campbell I guess this is one of the more recent markings you know you have all seen the scribbly marking um, but this is one of the more recent now this is 2018 so this must have been shortly before they went uh, out of business or I don't think they went out of business I think they just closed up um, but that is I guess the Campbell marking so um, we have the Campbell <laughs> we've got the little guy with the ship his hat says captain and then the Eldrith lion so those are fantastic I've got that bear back there I'm so tempted I should you know what I should just let him go because 
Why not? So I bought this when I was in Adamstown. I was so excited about him. <laughs> He's got this popsicle. He works. Um, when I purchased him, it said key at front desk. And I never got the key. I never got the key. So apparently he works. I don't know how to get a replacement key for him. Um, I don't know where the key even goes, actually. Where would you put a key? I would think in his butt. <laughs> I don't, I don't, oh, there, right there. So apparently he works. He's mechanical. But I don't have a key for him. So I was just so excited. I'm like, oh, he's adorable. He's a little bear that eats a popsicle. But guess what? We don't have a key for him because I never, and this was like, by the time I realized what I had done, it was too late. So here we are, a bear without a key. And I'm just going to hold on to him for eternity. So I'm going to sell him without a key. I don't know if you can purchase a replacement key. But there you go. So I'll include those. And this is Mountain med Meadow Mountain Pottery or something to that effect. I think you guys taught me that. And I'm kind of just piling everything up here because my carts are full. Carts are full. We've got too many sales this week. We've got eBay, <laughs> Wednesday, Sunday, We've got booth stuff I'm working on, so cat sale, lots happening. Um, so I'm going to get those photographed. This is all I already have all photographed, so I'm going to photograph this, stuff I've got over there, and um, nice little start to the sale here. All right. Well, it is now later in the evening, and we have finished our Wednesday whatnot sale. Um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Obviously, I still need more things, but I think we got a pretty good head start. We got quite a few items picked out. I actually have everything here on the back shelf. <laughs> I displayed it for our Wednesday sale, and I gave everybody a preview. Um, so, obviously, these items, not the chickens in the back. I still have to figure out what to do with those. I feel like those are... Those are good pieces, and so I have a habit of holding on to things like that until I can get an idea for their value. Um, but everything else, um, even some, some of these guys down here. Um, so I'm going to get those preloaded maybe this evening um, since I already have the video edited. And um, I'll be back here in a few days, maybe even tomorrow, putzing around and getting more stuff uh Photographed. I also have to photograph these. I didn't get around to photographing these. So. so before I end this video, I just need to remind all of you that the sale is Sunday. That's 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, I do have links down in the description. Uh, I have a link for you to bookmark the sale um, so that you can be reminded of when the sale is. Um, also, if you want to become a buyer over on Whatnot, if you haven't signed up yet, uh, Whatnot will give you $15 off your first purchase and you don't have to spend it with me you can spend it with anybody over on whatnot um so i have a link for that down below as well and if you decide you want to become a seller over over there um, i have a link for that as well um so all of those links are affiliate links and if you use my links i do receive a small commission and that goes to supporting my channel so um everything we picked in today's video is going up and will be preloaded in my sale Hopefully within the next few days. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this video, I will have it preloaded. I've been really, um, really slow on getting things preloaded, but by the time of the sale, it, it will be, it will be there. So I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to head home. It's been a long day hanging out here at the shop, and I've got, I'm going to order dinner. I'm going to order dinner. Probably going to order some groceries and uh, settle in for the night. But I will see you later.